Morning. Um, got a few extra things this morning I was going to talk a little bit about. The extra stuff we feed during the winter that we really don't feed during the summertime. It's kind of because they need it. Primarily because of the fact that uh, they just don't have the grubs they do during the, and the bugs that like the chickens and the uh, and the ducks do during the summertime and the spring and the fall that they do during the winter. But uh, let me show you all the stuff I got. And uh, I'll kind of explain why. So let me show you what all they are. Let me line up on the back of the truck here. A couple of different things to try to get them during the, the winter that they just don't get. And like this is just left, leftover cabbage that was pulled off of cabbage that they don't want in the store. They try to make it look fresher, but these leaves, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. So we get them from the store for nothing. Well, Amy does and brings them to us, but um, we'll take these and we'll feed them to the rabbits because believe it or not, those rabbits are like little pigs eating, buddy. They eat everything and anything. They're like little eating machines. I think they out eat the chickens and that's hard to do. Uh, the other thing here was this thing open here. So the other thing here is it's the green beans they were throwing out. I'll take this. I'm gonna see if the rabbits will eat them. I don't which the corn and the bananas that'll go to the those will go to the uh to the chickens. But I'm gonna see if the green beans, if the rabbits will eat these. If not, they'll get to the chickens. And yesterday, Amy actually cooked a big thing of them here, so those will go to the um, to the ducks. Now, what's in the cooler? You might ask. Well, let me get this thing open and I'll show you. Uh, in the cooler is deer parts. They just. Don't process. There's a bunch of them in here too. Uh, a friend of mine, Tommy Bowling, he uh, him and his buddies just got done cleaning some deer. I told him, I said, you know, whatever leftovers y'all have, let me have them. I'll, feed, I'll cook them and feed them the chickens. Which mind you, I'm gonna cook them. Um, deers have a tendency to have worms and tape worms, all kind of stuff. So I just said, cook them, cook the meat, and make sure I cook that stuff out before I give it to my chickens. So uh, that's why I had to get my the uh, extra propane you saw. I actually just ran out. <laughs> so let me, uh, let's get all this stuff out and we get all these yahoos fed. And uh, they'll all be happy with me, which, you know, during the winter time, they just don't have access to stuff like they do during the summer and spring. And uh, just add that little extra back in. May not think it, made, it makes that much difference. But with feed, they don't get that richness that they get with those grubs and stuff. So stuff like that, deer meat stuff in the chickens, that'll put some, that'll put that rich flavor back in the, uh, well, in the eggs, they really hadn't run out of flavor, but that definitely helps. So let me get that deer meat. Right. First thing that get started is this deer meat. And then we can pass out all the and stuff. All right, here's the, here's the deer parts. They still kind of froze, but I'll go ahead and add some water in there, get them jokers going. And uh, once they get done, we'll divvy it out to the chickens here and there. Add a little extra rich protein into their diet. Be good for them. And uh, let me get it started and then go ahead and start divvying out all this other stuff. Uh -huh. cook greens see how the ducks like they're gonna be happy with them i promise you that let's go give them to them i 
bet these ducks is gonna go nuts. What you doing there, ducks? Huh? What y'all doing? Yeah? What y'all doing? You want some green beans? Huh? You want some green beans? Here. Come on. Here. Here. Come on. Them ducks are slap at it. Now I'm curious as to see whether or not the uh, the rabbits will eat those raw green beans. I don't know that they will. But uh, if they don't, no big out they can give them chickens. But let me take this box out there and we'll, we'll divvy it out and see how they like it. these green beans we'll dig them out a little by little and just give each one a little bit of them and see what happens like i said if they don't like them chickens will live so let's give i'm especially kind of curious to see how them babies gonna get reacted to green beans i don't know we'll see If they're going through the green beans or not. I don't know about green beans with, with rabbits. I mean, they don't seem all that enthused about it, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and dump the rest of these green beans into. So I still got corn and banana in there. It's kind of ripe at the store, so I go ahead and dump them. I give them chickens. They'll love me. <laughs> Other thing we've got, of course, is the cabbage. I know they'll eat the cabbage leaves, so. Holy cow. Here's where the green beans for the ducks are at. Yeah. They apparently enjoy it down. <laughs> Whew. So let's get these cabbage leaves and give this to the rabbits. I'm telling y'all, man, they like little pigs. They are like little pigs. Whew. I went ahead and grabbed a handful of cabbage leaves. Oh, and I found one more uh, corn husk. I'll go ahead and take the corn husk over here. The chickens throw it in there and let them eat it. I'm going to try this cabbage out with the, with the babies and with, the, with Mama Lily and Scooter. And just, uh, I know that we did. So I'll give it to them, but I didn't get all of it. I'm going to put some of it back because there ain't no way they're eating all of that stuff. If they do, we in deep trouble. Good 
Cheetah. See if you like the cabbage. If y'all don't like that, I'll give that to the chickens too. I don't care. I think the cabbage is a huge hit for the rabbits. Which is good because I got a lot of it. So uh I can definitely do them. Whew. And I got the uh the banana tree covered back. And uh well I did apparently they're gonna go back in here again. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna crawl back up it again. Got on that side over there. Here's what he got. Man. Nothing but a little terrorist, I'm telling you. Little terrorist. You know what I'm talking about. Oh. So as you might imagine, we got a, quite a while on the, uh, yeah, on the deer meat cooking. It's going to take a while. But uh, I'm going to cook that thoroughly. Uh, like I said, I don't want um, any of my chickens that have getting worms from it. So I'll cook it really good and then cut it up, put it in some small bags and freeze in the freezer and just throw it out you know here and there for them and give an extra boost to protein put that rich flavor back in them so uh they should be happy with that at least that'll kind of carry us on through a little while longer with this cold weather and you know no grubs to eat for them and i still got the old compost bucket so i gotta go bury some more but i'm hoping all this effort and work and the composting this stuff into the garden I'm hoping it's going to pay off in dividends next year. Hopefully it'll be worth it with all the work I put into this thing. And, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll just have to see how it does. I don't know. All right, so rain's starting to come down now. <clears throat> this time I hit in. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like always, God bless each and every one of you. And uh, if you would, please like and subscribe. That would help. And I uh, hope I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>